Okay, this is the water meter, the water pressure video. We're going to include some lawn sprinkler stuff in here. Because it's here, it's easier to handle it organically. But inside the front parkway sidewalk, between the sidewalk and the curb, we have our water meter. It's supposed to be there. It's a municipality. I mean, it could be over here. But this is a good place for it. And it's an electronic water meter. So it's kind of hard to tell if it's leaking or not, to be honest with you. Now, this valve is on the city side of the water meter. So this valve does not belong to you. But you may need to know about it because I'll explain it in just shortly. That arrow is pointing towards the house. It means the water's on. If that arrow is turned around and pointing away from the house, that will line up these little ears. So you can put a padlock if you don't pay your water bill. And that turns the water off. So in an emergency, you may need to get a special wrench, but you shouldn't have to. And come out here and turn the water off. But <coughs> that might be what needs to happen. Break for the lawn sprinkler system. Inside the parkway, between the sidewalk and the curb, <coughs> This check valve does not belong here. It belongs on the other side. It belongs on your property. This is not your property. This was an improper installation. Okay. <coughs> the check valve handles are rusted off. <coughs> the check valve is full of dirt. I can't tell if it's complete. I have seen these things ha that have been bypassed before. I can't tell you whether it has or hasn't. All right. Another thing, when this home was built, it probably wasn't required, but if it was today, we'd have a main water shutoff valve to the lawn sprinkler system. So you probably have a double check valve, I can't tell. The handle's rusted off. When that handle's rusted off, the valve, the valve is gone. So you probably need to replace the valves. Probably want to think about ch replacing the ch water check valve. Okay? It's the lawn sprinkler system. Another thing about the lawn sprinkler system is I'm not seeing a rain freeze sensor. So there's that. We come over here. There's a water meter right there. Closest bib faucet. Well, before we get there, <coughs> this I'm going to assume it's what it should be. I don't know what it is, but it should be the main water shutoff valve for the house. If you have an emergency dig that up. That's why I was showing you the other valve at the meter. So your main water shutoff valve is not accessible. <clears throat> now we're looking for between 40 and 80 PSI. 35 is acceptable, but I like to see some pressure. One time it wasn't. Our valve is leaking, our water valve is leaking right there when it's open. And it's just shy of 80 PSI. If it's over that, and we probably still want it, be an expansion tank on your water heater. You are supposed to let that sit for a few minutes. These are your clean out drains. Sewer for the house. The double clean out. This one goes that way. This one goes that way. You don't have a, no blockage in the middle. <coughs> this one goes into the house. Excuse me. This one goes outside of the house. I've been eating a jar of dusty nuts. So, now my throat is all dry. So, our cleanup cap is missing. This is the way I found it. This is a substitute cleanup cap. <clears throat> so, what have we learned? Our main shutoff valve is clogged. We're missing a clean out cap. Lawn sprinkler check valve is buried and the handles are rusty.